What's up everybody, how's it going? So a few days ago, somebody messaged me on LinkedIn asking me to make a video on the importance of luck in coding interviews. Basically, this person was saying that luck is very important in coding interviews. It can be very discouraging when you've put a ton of energy into the coding interviews and you end up getting unlucky. And he was asking me, what do I think about all of this? So I wanna address this topic in a very short and sweet way by sharing a personal story with you. Two years ago, a little over two years ago, I was interviewing at Facebook. A lot of you know that I worked at Facebook for two months, not that long, but during the interviews, the interviews went super well. I remember walking out of them, you know, feeling super confident. Um, one of them went particularly well, and it's an interview that's relevant to the topic at hand. It was the first interview of the day. The interview consisted of two algorithm questions. The first one I was able to solve in about 30 minutes, felt really good. I think I was just doing very well. And the second one, which was presumably kind of a tougher question to, to challenge me further after I'd done well in the first one, was this question. Imagine you're given a list of points on a Cartesian plane, so x, y coordinates, and you're given an integer n, write an algorithm that is going to return the n points on that Cartesian plane that are the closest to the origin. The origin being the intersection of the x-axis and the y-axis, meaning, you know, the, the point uh, zero, zero. So as soon as I was given the, the prompt of this problem, I immediately thought, okay, we're looking for the points that are closest to the origin, what does it mean to be closest to the origin? It means that the distance between the origin and a given point is you know, the smallest it can be. So we're trying to minimize distances. We're trying to find the smallest distances, the smallest n distances. In other words, smallest k numbers. What does that remind you of? Does that ring a bell? It should. Quick select. Quick select is a famous algorithm that's kind of based on the quicksort algorithm that allows you to find typically the kth smallest or largest number in a list of numbers in linear time. And the way the algorithm works, once you've found the kth smallest number, or in this case, the kth closest point to the origin by calculating the distances and using that as the numbers, um, you have all of the k other like smaller numbers already positioned in your list. I'm not going to go too much into detail on how the algorithm works, but basically you have the answer. And so that's what I told the interviewer. I think he was pretty impressed. I, you know, explained all my thought process. Then I think I, I you know, rederived like the quick sort aspect of quick select and pseudocode in the last 10 minutes. And that was that. I think I did, you know, very well in that interview. And by the way, just thinking about it now, I'm realizing I think you can also solve this problem using a min heap, right? Because if you're repeatedly looking for the smallest values, like n smallest values, then a min heap would also be an interesting solution. But anyway, I divigate. So the point is, did I get lucky? Well, I think we can all agree that yes, I did get lucky. I was given a problem that was effectively a variation of quick select. And I knew quick select very well. I had internalized how quick select works and when it can be applied. So clearly I got very lucky to be asked a problem that I knew how to solve like so easily. But did I get lucky that you didn't think my voice could go that high? Did I get lucky? Or is it maybe that I prepared a lot perhaps prepared with a platform called AlgoExpert, accessible at algoexpert.io, and perhaps even used the promo code CLEM, C-L-E-M, for a discount on that platform. But perhaps was it that I prepared and that my preparation, which had me know the quick select algorithm so well and be able to apply it so easily, that preparation is what allowed me to get lucky in the first place, to take advantage of this supposed luck. Had I not prepared, then that wouldn't have been luck. Now, obviously here, you know, we can go back and forth and debate all day long, like whether the preparation is more important than the luck or whether the luck is more important than the preparation, like which comes first, kind of a chicken or egg type of problem. The point is that 
Yes, luck obviously plays some factor. I think there's no denying that. But, as the saying rightfully goes, luck favors the prepared. And so the point that I'm trying to convey to you is that if you prepare a lot, you will increasingly find yourself becoming lucky. So keep preparing, don't focus too much on the luck, and you will get lucky. So that's my message on this topic. Hopefully you appreciated it. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. It really helps me out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter if you enjoy short form written content. Instagram if you like pictures. And otherwise, I will see you in the next video. And yes, I'm a little bit sick, which is why my voice sounds so raspy. I don't usually sound this way. I promise.